Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Melissa DeTora and Zbax for an all Transformer episode. But before we meet the players, we'd love to share some big announcements with you. First up, we are featured guests at Command Fest Orlando. So if you guys would like to play some Commander games with us in person, head on over to Command Fest Orlando down below in the description. We'll have some links for you and you guys can grab your tickets. And we are now part of the Ultimate Guard team. That means you're going to see a lot of their products featured here on the show. And you can pick up your very own deck boxes and sleeves and play mats using the link down below, which also supports the channel. As always, a big thank you to our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc. and EDH Rec. But more on them later in the video. That's enough from us. Let's meet the players. Hi, I'm Zbex, a professional cosplayer and Magic the Gathering personality. Today, I'm playing Ratchet, Field Medic, and I'm really hoping to pull out my Aether Flux Reservoir. I'm going to gain a bunch of life. I have a bunch of other synergy in the deck, including plus one, plus one counters. So another big card I hope to pull out is Nykthos Paragon. Hello, I'm Melissa DeTora. I'm a senior game designer working on Magic, and today I am playing Blaster Combat DJ. In this game, what I'm hoping to do is play cards that give me a bunch of plus one plus one counters and like maybe double them, for example, like hardened scales. And I also want to get as many artifact creatures out as I can, along with sacrifice outlets like Arcbound Ravager, so I can sack artifacts and get more and more counters as the game goes on and just make bigger and bigger creatures. Hello, everybody. I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and today we are playing Soundwave, the Sonic Spy. My game plan is to make a bunch of tokens with cards like Helm of the Host or Murmuring Mystic and make some unblockable evasive tokens to get in deal some damage, and play spells out of my opponent's graveyards. I'm Veggie Wagon, and I'm going to be playing Cyclonus, the Saboteur. I get to take extra beginning phases, which means untap, upkeep, and draw. So I'll be trying to take advantage of triggers that happen during those phases, doubling those as well using cards like Paradox Haze, and even getting a sneaky win with cards like Triskaidekaphile. Today's Transformers theme was chosen by our incredible patrons. And if you would like to get involved and help us choose future themes for the show and unlock other cool perks like signed tokens from the cast and crew, spell table games with us, and even submit deck lists for us to play on the show, you can head on over to our Patreon. And as always, make sure to support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. But now, let's get into the game. Welcome to the table. Let's see who goes first. Roll All right. D20. Oh, that's, that's not good. Three. Eight. Nineteen. Uh, all right, all right. Thirteen. Okay, I'll go with a planes pass. All right, I am going to draw a card, play a command tower, and pass. All right. Oh, I draw a card. Oh, good. <laughs> I played 1v1. This is not 1v1, you get to draw a card okay. on turn one. I'll do that. Okay, I did that. I still have no turn one play. <laughs> Sorry. That's all staying in. Um, <laughs> Love it. I'm going to play Watery Grave, Taft, and Pass. All right. Well, I'm going to play a port town. I'm going to reveal this island so it'll come into play t untapped. And I will be the very first person to play a spell with a rune crab. What rune crab does is with landfall, it's going to mill opponents three cards. And then I'll pass. Okay, I will draw a card, because that's what you do at the regular start of a regular turn. And I will play another planes. And I'll tap two and cast Eager Well Spring. When it enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Do do do. Pass. All right. I'll play a forest and a mirror retriever. This is a 1-1 one, one creature. When it dies, I get to return an artifact from my graveyard to hand. Pass the turn. Cool. I will play an island. And which one of these do I want? Oh, no. Too many good decisions is never good for, for us. Which mana rock do you play on turn two? No, 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 no. Veggie's just not very robotic. He's too organic. So he's taking some time to figure out the cards. <laughs> I don't know oh what you're talking about. <laughs> I am fully... <laughs> Dance battle, let's oh go. Oh my god. <laughs> this seems cooler, and I haven't played this card before, so I'm going to pay two for Keen Duelist. At the beginning of my upkeep, 
I choose somebody, we each reveal the top card of the library and we lose life equal to the mana value of the card revealed by the other player. And then we put that into our hand. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. And I'll pass. All right. Well, I know you guys didn't really see this coming, but I'm going to play an island and I'm going to mill each of you for three cards. All right. Fuel for my mirror retriever. Oh, yeah. Make note of any instants or sorceries, because I might get to recast those from your graveyard at some point throughout the game. And for my turn, I'm just going to go ahead and play a Arcane Signet and pass the turn. I will note, I do have one significant card in my graveyard now, uh, the Mirror Hall Mimic, which I can disturb to cast from the graveyard as an aura. I will also mention I have Savine's Reclamation in my graveyard, which not only could be useful for you, but also has a flashback cost of five, where I can return a target permanent card with CMC three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Thanks, Nerd Girl. You helped all of us with that mill. <laughs> it's not me. It's Rune Crab putting in the work. Let's go with another planes. And let's play... Loshiel, Clockwork Scholar. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking artifact creatures you control. And whenever one or more artifact creatures enters the battlefield under my control, draw a card. It triggers only once each turn. And Loshiel is a 2 4. Nice. Wow. Big booty. Card good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's it. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to play this crazy card. It's an invigorating hot spring. It enters with four counters. I can remove a counter from this thing to put a counter on one of my creatures, and my modified creatures have haste. So I'm going to remove a counter from this to put one on the mirror retriever, and then I'm going to say, Veggie, would you like to trade this mirror retriever for your guy? I would definitely not like to do that. All right, well then take two. I'll pass the turn. All right. Well, we'll see who gets a free card now. My upkeep, Keen Duelist, is going to trigger. Mm. Zemex. Let's Please, go. Yeah, reveal the top card <laughs> of your library. Boo. Takes two to tango. I've got a four mana value card. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I have a two, so uh, you get to put that in your hand. You will take, t- uh, you'll lose two life. Okay. And I will lose four life. Canoptic Tomb Sentinel, a c- artifact creature, is going into my hand. I, I mine was just a mere signet. Ow. Okay. Then I'll draw for turn. This seems kind of good considering what's on the board. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to play a Demir signet. I'm going to then pay another two for Search for Ascanta. I'll put some cards into my graveyard and then once I got seven somehow it's gonna flip and give me some card advantage oops um, what did you do nerd girl one turn I'm already. having standard flashbacks <laughs> Facts. Uh, oh hey 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 I'm not gonna leave this damage on the board especially since I just got hit Melissa this is two for you yeah I know I deserve that <laughs> I totally understand and now I'll pass all right I really don't want to do the thing but I have to so everybody mill three from rune crab please I'm gonna play the island oh well uh the I have an in Garrick's wake uh in my graveyard oh that's nice that's good for you to know yeah don't think I want to play my commander just yet I'm gonna go ahead and play a vanguard suppressor Uh, it has squad allows me to make copies of it but I'm not paying the extra it's a three two flyer and when it deals combat damage to a player I can draw a card and that will be my turn and rune crab's gonna stay home untap upkeep draw I will play a planes for the turn and cast my commander Ratchet, Field Medic, uh, 2-4, Life Link. Whenever I gain life, I may convert Ratchet. When I do, return target artifact card with mana value less than or equal to the amount of life you gained this turn from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So actually, your Ruin Crab is totally helping me out because last turn I got three targets that just are in there now. So, Ooh. oops. Just don't play any more lands. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I do get a trigger though because Ratchet is an artifact creature. I will draw a card. I will also use my mana and play an implement of improvement. It's an artifact where I can 
use a planes to sacrifice it, gain two life, uh, and when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I draw another card. I'm an ambulance, but not yet. So we'll send Lucille at Melissa. Oh no. Okay, I'll take two. And on that note, I'll pass the turn. I will play a forest and a branching evolution. This uh, doubles my 1-1 one, one counters. So I'm going to remove a counter from this to put one counter on Mirror Retriever, which is actually two counters thanks to branching evolution. Oh, wow. I now have a 4-4. Four, four. However, I think this guy wants to be on blocking duty for a while. So I'm going to pass the turn. Double upkeep triggers. First, I'm going to do my search for Azkanta. Let's look at this. Veggie, we're friends. You should you should duel me cards. Can we be friends too? I want cards. She hit you first. Yeah, but I won't attack you anymore. <laughs> at least mm. for a little Rune bit. Runecrab is your best friend. Mm. Runecrab is your best friend. Interesting. I feel like Runecrab should get a draw. Wait, how many do I have in here right now? I have... Oh, so I want to I wanna throw this away anyway, no matter what it is, because that means we flip. I'm going to put the Arcane Signet into my graveyard. And then that means that Search Rise Council will transform. Wow, all thanks to Ruin Crab. Yeah, Ruin Crab deserves a draw right. from this. I, I actually for sure deserves, yeah. So, Nerd Girl, please reveal the top card nice. of your library. Oh, God. Five. <laughs> um, I got an Ink Shield. Yeah, that's uh, a good card and also five. Uh, I got a Baleful Strix. <laughs> So that's, you'll take two, I'll take five. Not working out for you It is yet. not. Nope. Nope. Uh, and I'll draw for turn. Thanks, Veggie. I'll pay two for the Baleful Strix. Flying Death Touch and draw. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four. Protection Racket. This is the card I needed to read a couple times to understand exactly how it works. It's got a lot of text on there. Yeah. At the beginning of my upkeep, we will do this for each one of you. I'm going to reveal a top card of my library. I either put it into my hand or you pay life equal to its mana value. Whoa, you have to do that three times? Yes. It's not just once per turn? Well, so you could draw up to three cards a turn if we all are feeling like we don't want to pay life. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. I don't think I can get damage through to anybody, so I'll pass. Nice. I'll play a swamp. Everybody mill three, please. All okay. right. More fodder for Mirror Retriever. Oh, I have a inevitable betrayal in my graveyard. What's that do? It's a bribery. I'm gonna go to combat and Zbex, you have the highest life total. So I'm just gonna come in for three in the air. All right, I take three. Great, I just wanted to draw a card. I wasn't trying to start a war. That's what you say mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have a ton of great plays here, so I already know I want to commit my removal spell to Veggie's draw card engine. It's too much, but I don't want to do it right now. I'm going to hold open some mana, bluff some counters, and hope I can get people to slow down. Buy me some time. I'm going to do the team a favor, I think, and uh, pass the turn. What? What could be going on there? I'm being mischievous. Please don't counter my commander. I love him. I will play my favorite planes. Let's get some value. I will have untapped my creature. And we will tap three for a bottle gnomes. It's a one three. I can sacrifice it to gain three life. It is an artifact creature. So it's a draw card trigger for me just once this turn. That's a great like mechanic for this deck. It's awesome. My second plan for the turn will be moving to my combat phase. And I promised I was going to attack you. So I will send Ratchet Field Medic at Veggie and Low Shield. I feel like you just might want some damage. You never know. We're going to see what happens. So I'm going to send two at you and see what happens. I've got some mana open. Okay. And see how valuable your ruin crab is to you. Not very. I will put it in front of the bus. Okay. I was faking. <laughs> <laughs> Veggie. <laughs> it's fun. It's commander. <laughs> That the Lucille ability is. Yeah, so by the way, uh, Ratchet does have prevent all combat damage uh, to attacking artifact creatures at the moment. Yeah, that is. Get out of here, Baleful Strix Death Touch. 
Yeah, I'll just uh, take two damage. Okay, some stuff is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Are y'all ready for this? We're ready. (laughs) I'm going to gain two life. And whenever I gain life, I may convert Ratchet. When I do, return target artifact card with mana value less than or equal to the battlefield tapped. And do you are you ready for this? I'm converted. Oh, <laughs> how did you hide that from us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so <laughs> did you see in your frame? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Cool. Uh, So then with my trigger on the stack, I've got two great targets to choose from. I want some more mana for the turn. So I'm going to bring gold mirror to the battlefield tapped. (laughs) (laughs) And in great style, I will pass the turn. Well, Zvex fooled us all, was like, I'm not on theme for this game with this <laughs> Pokemon shirt, and then now, like, it's totally on theme for this game. Chance Tricked us all. I'm going to play my commander. It costs five. His name is Blaster, combat DJ. He loves music and plays basketball. He also gives my artifact creatures and vehicles modular one. My other one's not himself. And whenever I put one or more 1-1 counters on him, I convert him into his boombox side. Now it's time to use this invigorating hot spring. But who's getting the counters? Do I want this blaster to convert or not? That's the question. I will give it to him. So he will get two. Since I put one or more 1-1 counters on him, he is now a boombox. On this side, I can pay X, remove X counters to put counters on something else. If this has no counters on it, I convert it again. Uh, Melissa, I can take care of a problem if you want to help put some pressure because I think both of their boards are scary-ish. I'm really scared of Z-Bex. Yeah, sure. What? That makes sense. Okay, I can attack. Um, yeah, I'm just drawing cards and hurting myself in the process. I don't really want to lose my mirror enforcer to the Baleful Strix, so I will attack z with this 4-4. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Sure. All right, I'm done. And then before an end step, I will also uphold my bargain and cast Mortify, dealing with uh, oh, the- No card draw for you. Protection Racketeer, <sighs> um, destroy target creature or enchantment. So- I had to go through it and read that card, understand what it did, only and to it get nothing. Didn't even do anything. to see if you could hit on something. Right. It, it was worth it, because it stopped me from casting anything else on my turn, so. Well, Keen Duelist, None for you. <laughs> Melissa, let's... Thanks, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, just something low, please. It's low. Hey! Okay, so this is great we for both everybody. get a land. Great. Okay, uh, and I will draw for turn. One, two, three, four. Ah, right, I'm going to cast my commander, Cyclonus, the Saboteur. It's a two, five flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, it connives. And then if its power is five or greater, I convert it to its jet fighter side, which we'll see soon, I'm sure. I guess the only thing that's going to be hitting me would be from z And the Baleful Strix does not help me when that happens. So, you know what? I might attack someone else next time. You can attack me, though. It's fine. I'll take one. Yeah, take one. Take one. I'll take one. You take one. And I'll pass the turn. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and play a planes and mill uh, you guys for three with my precious little rune crab. I don't think I hit anything relevant. And for my turn, I'm gonna go ahead and play my commander. I'm gonna be playing Soundwave, Sonic Spy. When one or more token creatures deals combat damage to a player, I can exile an instant or sorcery from their graveyard, copy it and play that for free and then convert. Melissa, our partnership was good, but you have the highest life total. So I'm gonna come in. You have no flyers, right? I have no blockers at all. Excellent. Three in the air. Can't do anything about that. And when I connect, I can draw. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Blade of... Selves? Selves. Yeah. I'm going to cast Blade of Selves. It's a Blade of You, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it is, right? (laughs) We'll play Blade of Selves, which is just an equipment you can equip for four, and equip creature has Myriad. And that'll be my turn. On your end step, a sacrifice of implement of improvement. When that happens, I will gain two life. And then because a non-token artifact 
was put into the graveyard from the battlefield. I will flip Ratchet back over to the field medic side uh, when it's put into the battlefield from a graveyard draw card. Now I'll move to my turn. Let's go with a high market. I can sacrifice a creature to gain a life should I need to. Continuing with the artifact creature value train, let's add Canoptic Tomb Sentinel from the Warhammer 40k decks. A 4-3 Vigilance. Whenever it enters the battlefield from a graveyard, exile up to one target non-land permanent, and it has Unearth for seven. When an artifact creature enters the battlefield, I will draw a card. This triggers only once each turn. Fabulous. Ooh. I don't know if any of you have actually played a commander game with Blade of Selves in it before, but it's it's pretty good artifact. It's real good. It's very good. Uh, so I am going to tap three and cast Lorne of the Third Path. Boo. When Lorne of the Third Path enters the battlefield, I will destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment, hence my foreshadowing of Blade of Selves being really good. Boo! I was hoping the blade would sort of go unnoticed. I know it's really powerful, but I needed a way to get some tokens on the battlefield to activate my commander. But Zebex saw through it. I'm so lucky to dodge that. I have some really powerful it's, enchantments yeah. in play. I mean, I can recur things from my graveyard. Uh oh. So. I wish I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a war though, like you said. It's just it's just a good war weapon. Let's let's not have that. I'm the ambulance. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't, I'm the I, ambulance. I'm here to destroy your stuff. It's a lot harder to sew people together when they're literally cut in half. Like they just don't live past that. Okay, you know. Let's move to combat. That's fun. And I'm gonna send five. To Melissa. All right, I have no choice but to take five. Okay, and I'm going to gain two life, which means I will get to retransform or convert, as they say. Ratchet Rescue Racer! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For the full effect, you know? Yeah. Uh, just wanted to make sure you have that in there if you want to use it. I wasn't really sure what it was that you were trying to communicate with that. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. I've got all of my mana tapped out. I've done all of my things. I'm converted. Pass. All right. I think I have some really cool things to do this turn. I'll play a Dark Steel Citadel. I'll play a Cradle Clear Cutter. This guy can tap for mana equal to his power. And now I'm going to make his power big for sure. I'll use Blaster. I think he's tired of being a boombox for now. So I'm going to remove two counters from Blaster to put two counters on him, which becomes four because of branching evolution. He, he's a 1-3 with four counters, so his power is currently five. When this thing has no 1-1 one, one counters, it transforms into the creature side. Here he is. All right, I'm gonna tap this Cradle Clear Cutter for five mana and play a Tawashi Guide Bot for four. So I have one remaining mana. When this guy enters the battlefield, I can put a 1-1 counter on target creature I control. I'm gonna put it on himself, which becomes two thanks to branching evolution. So this guy has four tap draw a card, but it costs one less to activate for each modified creature I control, which is three. So I'm going to use the remaining mana to tap him to draw a card right now. I'm going to remove the final counter from Hot Spring to put a counter on Blaster, which is really two. And when I put counters on him, he is a boombox again. <laughs> and I'm going to leave my Mirror Retriever back on blocking duty. I'll pass the turn. Deck is cooking. This deck is so cool. Upkeep. Hmm. Now who, who do I want to, to have more cards? I feel like we are both behind, but I know you don't like me, so there's that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, I would never say that out loud. Uh, I I might need your help before I kill you. Yeah, I also, I, I like, for sure, you're, I think, the most behind, so let's, let's card. Don't hurt me, though. Four. Four. Ouch. That card is so painful. It's not a may, either. I have to do it, as long as it's out. Okay. Uh, I'll draw for turn. If you want, I can block it for you. 
if you don't want to continue doing it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, once I get below 20, well, maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll have to start thinking about that. I'm going to pay one and I'm going to cast Dark Ritual. Uh oh. So I've got three black men in my mana pool, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No oh, gosh. To cast Sphinx of the Second Sun. It's a six, six flyer beginning of my post combat main phase. I get an additional beginning phase. So that's an additional untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to go to combat. Because I might as well, since all these are going to untap. Zebex, you're just going to gain this all back anyway. So I'm going to swing at you for three in the air. And I don't think I can get through anywhere else. Okay, I'll take it. All right, uh, I'll get a Cyclonus trigger. So I will connive. So I draw one and discard. I think I have plenty of cards. I'm going to discard this Blood Gift Demon. So that will put a counter on Cyclonus, but it's not a five yet, so it doesn't get to flip. All right, that's the end of combat. All my stuff is going to untap at my second untap step. We'll go to my upkeep, which will trigger the Keen Duelist. Oh, you're going to kill someone. <sighs> probably himself. Yeah, probably. Yeah. More I'm, likely to kill yeah. yourself. I, I am that someone. <laughs> Draw a card. Great. Or, well, reveal, yeah. Yay. Boo. But I'll take it. And then I'll draw. Nice. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, how often do you get to keep looping through that? Once per turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We should probably kill it if we can. No, 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 no. I do have player removal. It might <laughs> even attacking. be in my hand. We'll see. I'm going to pay one for a soul ring. I uh, will pay one, two, three, four for Twilight Prophet, a two, four flyer with Ascend at the beginning of my upkeep. If I have the city's blessing, I reveal the top card in my library, put it in my hand. Each opponent loses uh, life and I gain life equal to its mana value. So hopefully that'll help me not die. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve permanent. So I do have the city's blessing. Well, I guess with these tokens, this isn't really the kitty's blessing. Bad. <laughs> I will pass the turn. All right. Oh, goodness. I have no idea how I'm gonna solve all the problems that are arising on the board. World peace. But I don't like it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play a Sea Chrome Coast tapped. So everybody will mill three from the Rune Crab still. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play a Talrand Sky Summoner. It says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, create a two to blue Drake creature token with flying. And then I definitely should have attacked first to see what I drew, but I'm bad at magic. So we're gonna come across the table into the red zone for three in the air to z -backs. I can't block flyers at the moment. Excellent, I would so like to draw. Taking four? Yes. And then I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'm going to sacrifice bottle gnomes, gain three life, will cause Ratchet to transform back into the field medic. I really do believe in world peace. Okay, untap, draw for turn. Eight mana available to me this turn, however I choose to use it. I'm gonna play the card that I just drew. It's really good. Okay. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six. Nykthos Paragon! It's a four, six enchantment creature. Whenever I gain life, you may put that many plus one, plus one counters on each creature you control. We'll move to combat. So we'll send both Ratchet and Canoptic your way that is currently six power attacks. Okay, I would like to block Ratchet with the four, four and I'll take four. I accept. Okay. So I'm gonna gain two life and get some triggers. So when I gain life, I'll get to put that many plus one, plus one counters on each creature I control. <laughs> <laughs> the dice goblin in me is coming. They're out. huge. Veggie, how attached to your board are you? I'm pretty attached to it. But more than you are attached of that. We'll see. Uh, also, how much life did you gain? She said two. Just two, so I'm going to have it flip. 
Why? You gain, you, they each I get two counts. Yes, they all get two. They get, yeah, equal to the number. I've they... never played this card before. I don't have it in any of my decks. I just always kill it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, and this is why. <laughs> this is why. Because I. Do, 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 do. Okay. So if you had to choose keeping your board and theirs or losing them all, what would you choose? I mean, I feel like it, it's not a choice I have to make, right? It, it is. It might be. Great choice on the. I say wipe the board. Scion dice selection, which very nicely match. I'm going to put potion of healing onto the battlefield tapped from Ratchet converting. I can sacrifice it to gain three life, but I do have to pay a white and tap it, so I can't do it right away. I will pass. Okay. I'll play a forest, and then I would like to start out by using Blaster to remove two counters from here onto the Cradle Clear Cutter. So that'll become eight counters. Oh. (laughs) Gross. And then I'll tap it for eight mana, yay! Nice. I'm going to play a big boy. Oh, I forgot to say that this guy converts back into Blaster. I'm going to play a big boy. Well, eh, he's not actually that big. He's actually... Really small. Wow. Mid boy? He's a small boy. <laughs> he just costs a lot of mana. Oh. He costs four mana. He is the Arcbound Crusher. He has modular one. He enters the battlefield with one counter, which is actually two thanks to branching evolution. Whenever another artifact comes into play, put a one one counter on him. Okay, I have four mana left over. I am going to tap this mountain and play Doretti. Still have one green left. His plus two is to discard up to two cards and draw that many. His minus two is to sacrifice an artifact. If I do, I can return an artifact from my graveyard to the battlefield. And his ultimate is I get an emblem with whenever an artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. He can also be your commander if you so choose. Before I decide what to do with Doretti, I want to draw a card and get more options, so I'm going to tap this guy. It costs no mana to activate because I have enough modified creatures to draw a card. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I have to say. Okay. Just wow. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, everyone. The Great Henge. Oh. So, the engine is online, I guess. When the Great Henge comes in, this will get a 1-1 one, one counter, which is really 2, thanks to Branching Evolution. I minus Doretti, sack the Darksteel Citadel to return this guy into play. Nice. He has Modular 2, which is really 4. When he comes in, this guy's going to go to 6. The Great Henge is going to trigger to have me draw a card and put a counter on this, which is really 2. <laughs> and I'll draw a card from that. By the way, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good Deal. about it. Deal? Yeah. Hey, team plus one plus one counters over Yeah, here. yeah, we're team counters. We're, te- we're actually team <laughs> counters and artifacts. Yes, team counters and artifacts. I actually don't know what it just shook on, but I know that I need to make some friends fast so I can stay alive in this game. I got to attack somebody or something, things, I don't know, but I have all these modulars, so I just have a lot of options here. This trample guy will attack Veggie. I, I want to attack Zbex, but I can't. You have a 6-8. Has trample. Even if, and if I kill it, it's going to put 12 counters on something. Yes. <laughs> well, Modular. If, if you like our deal, just save yourself the damage. Yeah. And put everything under the bus. Actually, you know what? I'm going to block with Keen Duelist. I'll take four, but I, I st- I'll still get some value out of these creatures on my turn. So I'm, I'm going to do that. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, so you take four, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right. At my upkeep, Twilight Prophet will trigger. I'm going to uh, reveal a top card. It's a Lightning Greaves. Okay. Everybody lose two life, and I gain two life. And then draw for turn. Oh. Does that make... You already shook on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die, Veggie. <laughs> You're probably going to die, too. We're all going to die at some point and the game will end. That's deep. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm the field medic. I see a lot of death in my job. We're all going to die at some point <laughs> and then the game will be over. I've seen a lot of universes. Earth is the last one. <laughs> oh, boy. Over there, cigarette voice or something. Right. What was that? I don't know. Where did that come from? <laughs> Smoking kills people, too. Mm-hmm. So. 
Smoking kills. G.I. Joe. But this is Transformers, not G.I. Joe. Uh, <laughs> same thing, right? Um, they're pretty close. <laughs> so many people are going to be upset. I'm going to cast Mirror Maid. It can enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield. And there's some good ones. And I think if all the creatures go away, then I don't have to worry about it. That thing that, you, that you're covering there was, what thing? I think, my primary <laughs> target. I'm just making sure there's nothing else I'm missing. But yeah, I think this mirror maid is going to become a great henge. I think I paid more for my great henge than you did, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I paid too. I, yeah. I have this uh, some biggins in play. <laughs> I'm going to untap, so I might as well I'll pay one, two, three for a worn power stone. And one, two for lightning greaves. Put the greaves on uh, the Sphinx of the Second Sun, just in case anybody has any funny business. I mean, I do, but I, I hope you're in on the funny business. No, oh no, I like that funny business. It doesn't even stop that funny business. Well, uh, it, it will stop my funny business if it wants to. Can you do a stand up show for us? A lot of funny business. Yeah, there's a lot of funny business. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you'll see. You're the show. The show's. Uh, I have a feeling Melissa's going to have the last laugh, though. Oh, I should have used my great henge, but whatever. I'll tap it for two so I can gain two life. I'm going to go to combat. You have much more life. So I'll go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All in the air? Yeah, all in the air. All right. Well, I guess. I'm going to take that. Yeah, take 12. Um, Cyclonus will connive. I'll draw. <laughs> I'm going to discard a Solemn Simulacrum and I'll get a plus one plus one counter on Cyclonus, which I have a feeling won't be around for much longer. All my stuff will untap at my second untap step. I'll go to my upkeep. I'm going to reveal the top card of my library. I'm going to gain three life. Everybody else lose three life. Think. Ow. Uh, and then I'll draw for turn. <laughs> this is great. Tap four for grappling hook, an equipment that can give double strike and can force things to block. One, two, three for as foretold. Yeah, that's going to let me play some stuff for free. Oh, yeah, I'll use uh, the great henge and one more to suspend inspiring refrain. It's suspend three, and then when it gets cast, I'll draw two cards and then suspend it again for three. I'll gain three li two life from the henge, and I think this looks pretty great for me. I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, on end step, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cast a deadly dispute, and I'm going to sacrifice my rune crab. And uh, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I get to put a two two flying drake in. I'll resolve the deadly dispute and get to draw two cards. But I got the little little drakey on the battlefield, so it gives me a token for my sound wave. I also get an adorable Hamlet treasure. Oh, I love him! And then we're going to go to my turn. We will untap. The only way I can not be dead to the lovely ladies sitting across the table is if I make a deal with the devil. So Veggie, do you, you want the board to be- I shook on it. Yeah, it's true. We did shake on it. Okay, let's go ahead and play a planes for turn. And I'm going to go to combat. And we're going to send uh, this 3-3 three, three flyer to Melissa and a 2-2 two, two drake to Veggie. I'm going to take three. All right. All right. So um, I'm going to declare no blocks. So that will resolve the damage. And then I'll get a trigger from Soundwave. Whenever one or more token creatures deals combat damage to a player... Exile an instant or a sorcery from their graveyard. Um, wait. With mana value equal to the damage dealt. That is not what I thought that said. Our plan does not work. Yeah. Oh, oh. And, and here Did I thought you, know you just that? had a no? sweeper in your hand. <laughs> we got away with that one. Did you know that one? I, I, I was like, well, I don't see what's going to happen on the board, but like, I, I assumed you were going to play something that... I thought I thought it was just when a when a token creature dealt the damage. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are safe. I'm still dead. Well, you, you I get can... like a two mana cost spell uh -huh. out, of, out of your thing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my sound wave and I will cast Inevitable Betrayal. 
from Veggie's Graveyard for free. Search target opponent's library for a creature. Put that card onto the battlefield under your control. I'm gonna search Zbax's library, if you please. Maybe before you do, though, just because maybe the top card is the card you want. Melissa, let's draw a card. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of sick if you just draw your best creature off the... <laughs> was, that, was that it? Did oh that wasn't it? <laughs> Boo. All right, let's see the deck. What what goodies do I have in store for me? I have found a worm coil engine, and I will put that onto the battlefield. That's wow. that's pretty good. It's a it's a nice little creature. Hopefully, it will help me from all of the craziness that is happening over here with Zbex. I will get a, a summoning sick Drake from casting the spell, and then with the worm coil engine is a six six death touch life linker that says when it dies, I create two three threes, one with life link and one with death touch. So hopefully that will stem the bleeding a little bit. Um, and I'm also gonna go ahead and pay four to cast a Helm of the Host. Uh, Whoa. Uh, this uh, says that's the, something. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of the equipped creature. It isn't a legendary and it gains haste until end of turn. Oh no. So that's gonna be gonna be my turn and hopefully I don't die in the meantime. I'm gonna untap and while I do, I just wanna say part of the reason why I chose this deck is because as the queen of MTG TikTok, I'm a savage, <laughs> classy, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I was waiting the whole game to pull that one out. Cause here we go. We're about to do some savage stuff up in here. I'm gonna play this card that I just drew. The Book of Exalted Deeds. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained three or more life this turn, which I tend to do, create a 3-3 white angel creature token with flying. And I can pay three and tap it to exile it, put an enlightened counter on an angel. It gains, you can't lose the game, and your opponents can't win the game. I don't see any any snow plane, so I yeah. doubt that there's a faceless haven in. That's what I was looking at, too. <laughs> I think it's time to go to combat. Who should I kill first? Well, Melissa's at 16, Veggie and Nerd Girl are both at 26. We're still on the team. Wait oh, a minute. Oh, we're on a team? I Yay! <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I thought. I was like, when Wait. did, no, this is, this, this never happened. Well, well, I think it's because you guys were on a team a yeah, little while ago, so, so we have to be on a team. I'm doing it. I'm gonna send uh, all six of my creatures attacking at nerd girl how much damage is that currently 42 and i have mana open and ways to gain life that's totally fine okay i will declare no blocks oh no oh, oh she no. has the ink shield oh, no, she has the ink shield. shield why did we have to eat lunch <laughs> <laughs> So the thing about playing Commander for Commander filmed game shows is sometimes you need to take breaks and go to lunch. And if you ever stop in the middle of a game and come back to it, you might forget about really obvious cards that somebody revealed and has in their hand, like Ink Shield. <laughs> I will indeed sacrifice my treasure and cast Ink Shield, preventing all combat damage that would be dealt to me. That. And creating, what was it, 46 2 1 flying tokens? It was 42. I'm sorry. That, that is the answer to life. I will take that. Oh no, what have we done? I, I don't think I lose before it gets to my turn. <laughs> and this is very funny to me. Aww. So I'm going to pay two and I'm going to counterspell your ink shield. Then I will scoop up on my cards because I will be dead. With the six life, I will put six plus one, plus one counters on each creature I control. We've created a monster. <laughs> In my second main phase, cast Dawn of Hope. Just because I have mana, if I gain life, I can pay two. And if I do, I can draw a card. I can also pay four to create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Yay! I'm going to move to my end step, triggering a 3-3 three, three angel token with flying onto the battlefield. Mm. During your end step, I'm going to tap the Great Henge for mana so I can gain two life. That's all. I'm going to go now. 
During my upkeep, I'm going to remove a counter from Arcbound Reclaimer to put this Arcbound Tracker on top of my library. Because it's an artifact creature, I want to draw that. Yeah. So I, I will draw that. I'll tap this for 9 mana. I'll use 3 of it for a Life Crafter's Bestiary, which triggers this. For 2 counters, thanks to Branching Evolution. I will use another two of that green mana and a red for the Arcbound Tracker that we saw earlier. Four green mana left. Put two counters on it because of Great Henge and draw a card. Um, it also enters with Modular 2, so it enters with four, then it becomes six. Does that check out? <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Whoa, this card is pretty cool. Um, I want to draw a card right now before doing other things. Oh, this card's cool. There's so many cool cards in here. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to play a Lux Artillery. Trigger this for another two counters. And this thing says whenever you cast an artifact creature spell, it gains Sunburst. Sunburst means it gets one counter for each different color of mana that I spent on it. At the beginning of your end step, if there are 30 or more counters among artifacts and creatures you control, this does 10 damage to each opponent. Mm. Oh my god, I have to count. There's got to be like more than 30, right? Let's see. So this is 10. Um, 12, 20. Yeah, this is more than 30. Nice. Oh. I would like to Inspiring Call right now. Um, this has me draw a card for each 1-1... One, one, Sorry, for each creature I control with a 1-1 one, one counter, and they have Indestructible this turn. Oh, nice. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think you also get a counter on your Arcbound Tracker, right? Oh, yes. That card has other words on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap this land to play a Stone Coil Serpent for X is 1. Okay, so this is going to have 10 because nice. of this guy as well. Okay, so this has one one for himself. This is all going to be doubled, by the way. So one for himself, one for him, one for Lux Artillery. And Great Henge. And Great Henge. So eight. So eight, eight. Okay. Now I would like to attack somebody. Oh, can I attack Zvex? I'm sorry. I think our team, our okay. team thing is going to be over you now. You can attack me if you want. I've got blockers. Yeah. I'm probably only attacking with this 12-12. Okay. Because my other attacks I don't think are very good. I have a 15-14. No! A 15 <laughs> foot wide. Yeah, How everything is so many, big! So many counters I on them. I also have a 13-12. <clears throat> oh my god, so can I not attack? I also have a 3-3 three, three flyer. You first thought that you would like to attack z -Bex. Is that because you feel like that she is the main threat now? This sounds like I a would... leading question, <laughs> uh, Judge. Well, uh, I, I mean, like, <laughs> I feel like the tables have turned. Zvex is now a threat. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if we if we continue to team up together, I'm only going to set myself up to lose. I'll put it plainly. I have okay. something that I think will allow us to take out Zvex, uh, but I will need your help after I do it. Because I, I, I will not be able to take her out single-handedly, but my thing will give us an opening to be able to do that. I see. And this thing happens on your turn? Yes. Okay. I understand what you're saying. So it sounds like you're going to get another turn, which yeah. means I will get another turn but, before that happens. Like, I still feel like it's such a waste of indestructible if I don't attack somebody. And I do have this 12-12 trampler. So I'm going to attack Veggie with, with only with a 12-12 trampler with indestructible. I mean, there's no use in blocking it. All right. Yep, I'll take the 12. Okay. I am now going to use Duretti before I forget. It's a plus two, so it's on three. I'm going to discard two and draw two. Before you forgetty? Uh, before I forgetty. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I don't want a Solemn Simulacrum. What else don't I want today? No. You know what? what is that? I'm only going to discard one card. I'm going to discard Solemn Simulacrum and draw one. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven modified creatures. So this card costs one mana. It's a walking skyscraper. So I'm going to put two counters on this. I'm going to put two counters on this. I paid one mana for this, so it's going to have one sunburst. So this will enter with two. Are there any other things that I may be missing here? 
So it'll get two and then two from blaster for modular. And two from blaster, and, yeah. And you, yep. but you and then two from Great Henge? Oh, and two, of course. Oh, I have to draw more cards. I thought I <laughs> I was done drawing cards. I guess I'm not. So this is entering with six. Yeah. Do we all agree with that? Yes. Okay, and I'm gonna draw one card from Great Henge. Mm -hmm. Casual then, one mana 14, 14 trampler. You know, just the old one mana 14, 14 trampler. No big deal. It's now my end step. So Lux Artillery is going to trigger and my opponents each take 10 because I have more than 30 <laughs> counters among my Yikes. Okay, go creatures. To six. <laughs> okay, I believe I am now done. Go ahead. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm going to go to my upkeep. I'm going to remove a counter from Inspiring Refrain. I'm going to put a counter onto As Foretold. And then I'm going to trigger Twilight Prophet, or reveal a top card of my library. Should they feed the swarm? So it means that I will gain two life and each of you will lose two life. Put that into my hand and draw my card. Yeah, let's not think about it too much. This has to happen first. Um, I'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Kiora Best the Sea God. At one, I'm going to create an 8-8 blue Kraken creature with Hexproof. At two, I will tap all non-land permanent target opponent controls, and they don't untap during the controller's next untap step. What? Whoa. And that's Get not until here. two, though. And at three, I'll gain control of target permanent and opponent controls. It's just at one. Nothing to worry about. I'm going to make a Kraken. So I wonder next if there's turn, a... turn, you get to tap down all of my permanents. Right, next turn, yeah. It might happen this turn. There's what? like the uh, additional oh, beginning phase over there. But then I get to go to my turn and untap. No. You don't get to attack? They don't untap on your for next untap step, right? Yeah, they don't untap during the controller's next what? untap step. What? All of my permanence? All non-land. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, equip Cyclonus with Grappling Hook, so it now has double strike, and I can have something block it if I want. I'll spend two, I'll cast Feed the Swarm, and I'll target Stone Coil Serpent to destroy it. And since it has a convert mana cost of zero, I'm not going to take any damage. Boo. Okay. So okay. eight counters is going to go on something, but it's going to become 16, which is <laughs> ridiculous. I don't know. Yeah, go, Melissa, Who go. Who am I supposed to even take put it on? The, the Trampler? Yeah, Knowing what Kiora's I'll do it. best the Sea Gods does. So I'm this is now Melissa. a 2020 creature. Whew. Don't smile like that. Don't I'm grin like that. Can I go to combat? All right. I'm going to send everything at Melissa. Oh! Everything? How much flying is it? 17. Oh, my well, God. <laughs> yeah, 17, because this will hit twice. Because of my Sphinx, Kiora Best Sea God will get to the second chapter, tap out all of Z-Bex's stuff so she can't take me out. And if Cyclonus hits here, all I have to do is discard a non-land card. It'll get it to five. It'll flip and then it'll hit again for me to get to the final chapter of Kiora Best Sea God as well. Plus a bunch of other triggers. If you need, uh, if you need a hand, let me know. Oh, you can do something? What can you do? Oh. I'm Ratchet. I'm a field medic. I'm here to rescue race to you, Melissa. <laughs> please, please, please let Veggie okay, die. Okay, I'm interested in not dying, okay, so I'll see what you have. What's the creature that has, um, I can't target that because of lightning greaves. Right. Is the next biggest thing, the double strikey thing that's yes. doing the most stuff? Yes. Okay, so because I am Ratchet, rescue race, racer, I am going to... Dispatch! Whoa! Target creature! <laughs> How long theme is that? Because I control three or more artifacts, I will exile that creature. Love it. So that Melissa can be saved and hopefully together we can take out Veggie because if the saga continues and I am the target, like... I'm not going to be able to do anything. So. Are we allowed to do like a team victory? Like if we're on a team, can we just win <laughs> together? <laughs> which, would, which would be great ooh, because ooh, Veggie ooh, killed ooh. me and there's your team. Wait, no. wait, wait. We're transformers. That's how we, that's how we always do our no, team is like, Veggie no. gets me killed. No, but you, wait, we're transformers. Don't you know how transformers we can like reshape our pieces and like we, we could be like an even bigger battle bot. I, I, I think that's a Power Ranger. Yeah, I can't stop that. What would have happened is this would have hit the first time. It would have triggered. It would have gone to five. It would have flipped. And then it would have hit again, which would have given me an additional, additional beginning phase. And it also would have killed Melissa for the additional 
damage, right? Yeah. Unless yeah. I had something. Unless there was something. I had a trick up my exiled. sleeve, but I think if I used my trick up my sleeve, I just would have lost over here. So I got lucky. But we're a team. We yes, want to. We just want to win together. Yes. Do we go to damage? I believe we go to damage. Yes. So it is remaining one, two, three, nine damage. Okay. I'm going to get another beginning phase. So I will untap at my upkeep. As we're told, we'll go to two. I'll remove another counter from Inspiring Refrain, and I'll get another Twilight Prophet. I reveal a Shizo Death Storehouse, so no life lost or gained. Draw a card for my draw step. And now, before the Kiora your best. Kiora's Saga triggers, I have responses. Okay, triggers on the stack. Just in case I'm the target. Uh, I will use my remaining open mana to tap Potion of Healing and sacrifice it to gain three life. Okay. This is going to cause a number of triggers to happen. I'll have my Ratchet Rescue Racer from a non-token artifact leaving, as well as Nykthos Paragon, and I think, uh, and then the gaining of the life itself. I think that's it. Yeah, so we will gain the three life. We will flip Ratchet Rescue Racer back to the field medic. We will gain three more. Okay, and then still, I did all of the things from my thing. Counters on everything. Flipping, changing, yes. Now, I, because we are teammates, I am going to tap Lauren and make it so that we can both draw a card. Yay! Thank you. Yeah, doing everything I can to win this fight. Okay, now you can proceed to whatever nastiness you're going to do. Okay, well, uh, Kiora Best Sea Guy will go to two. Zbex, please tap all of your non-land permanents, and they do not untap during your untap step. Which means my book cannot become a Platinum Angel Savior. That was the thing I was most sad about. Mm. Uh, Even that Dawn of Hope taps. Sucks when you think you have the answer, huh, Veggie? I'm going to pay one, two, three, and activate as Kanta. I'll look at the top four and put a non-creature into my hand. Not what I was looking for. I'm going to reveal Thopter Spy Network. Put that into my hand. <laughs> this is this is real not good. <sighs> okay. So assuming that Zebex cannot kill me on her turn, uh, Melissa has got a 2020 Trampler at the least. It's probably going to be much bigger. <laughs> I have gonna be <laughs> a handful of cards here. <laughs> Maybe my inklings can help you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cast Irenicus's Vile Duplication. And it's going to be the saddest duplication because I just need to copy Baleful Strix to draw a card. You all been there. Oh, okay. One, two, three. I'll gain two. And I'll cast Foundry Inspector. And the Great Henge will draw me a card. And I'll put a counter. Oh, this is... He's, he's trying real hard. It's this a, is kind of painful to watch. It's like a 2v1. Like. I will pass the turn. None of my non-land permanents will untap. Mm -hmm. So I will just untap my lands. I am going to cast for flashback casting cost. Savine's Reclamation. I can return target permit card with mana three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. If it was cast from the graveyard, I may copy this spell and choose a new target for the copy. I am going to target Dark Steel Mutation as well as Potion of Healing. And I am going to have Dark Steel Mutation target the scariest thing on Melissa's battlefield. Oh, wait, no. Oh, but you need to be able to kill Veggie with it. Ooh. I think I can still kill Veggie. I, oh, okay, I think it's okay. likely, yes. Okay, so what's your most powerful creature over there? Um, uh, power and toughness Well, it's, it's a little awkward. Like, it's this guy for sure. Yeah. But he's still going to be huge. He's he just going to counters. lose trample. Yeah, okay. You, you actually can target my Sphinx with it if you wanted. How? It's kind of, well, it's not it, targeted. Or not, that's what I, yeah, you can put it on my Sphinx. <gasps> oh, it doesn't have the word target on there. Well, it would target if you were casting the spell, but because you're just putting it directly into play, it'll just 
you're um, returning that to play. It comes into play, you have to choose something for it to attach to. And you're not targeting, so it just goes on to whatever. Yeah, Sounds it is great. It is a weird way to get around uh, Shroud and Hexproof. I should have done that a turn or two ago, but wow. now you know, and so do I. Wow, that's cool. And now it loses its ability, so Veggie doesn't get the double attacks. Yeah. Wow. Which is good. Veggie might not make it anyway, but we're a team. So that's why I didn't Yeah, we're a stuff. team. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully like hopefully they'll let us declare like dual victory or something. That's that's the hope. Yeah, and then the potion of healing when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to pay one and tap potion of healing, sacrifice it to gain 3 life up to 20. That's going to trigger Nykthos Paragon again. <laughs> so we'll just tick all these babies from 14 up to 17. And then because Ratchet is a gained life, they get to flip and I'm going to get to return a permanent <laughs> of how much life I gained, an artifact. So I'm going to choose Dispeller's Capsule. I can pay three and sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Give me some more extra just in case I do get to untap. And then I'll move to end step. And because I gained three or more life, I will get another angel token. Thank you very much. Pass. During your <gasps> end step, I am going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on Blaster, which is really two counters. And because I put counters on Blaster, he's going to become a boombox. During my upkeep, I'm going to scry one because of this life crafters thing. I think that is fine to keep. I'll draw that. Use Blaster to move these counters onto this clear cutter. So the two will become a four. So this taps for 13. So 13 minus eight for this. So a lot of things are going to happen with this guy. So first, it has modular six. So it's going to be a 12. It also has modular one. So he's going to enter with 14. I paid only green. So plus two. A great henge is going to happen. So plus two. I'm going to draw from great henge. Oops. I'm going to add two to him. You, don't you just win here? I think she's yeah because yeah because you just attack me for ten and, and then, then win. yeah no I wanted to declare a dual victory oh, though that's right, that's right. <laughs> if I'm not allowed to I'll just attack you, you you can declare dual victory Maybe, in your heart attack me. but yeah, we should still I would kill like her. to do dual victory in my heart I All accept right. dual victory in your heart attack Zvex is there a chance Veggie has a way to get out of this and gain some life uh, I don't know but I have more tricks up my sleeve anyway. Okay, so we're declaring attacks? Yeah, I have- I'm declaring attacks, yes. Lethal to, to Z-Bex? Yeah, I only got one little 3-3 three, three angel flyer, so the field medic, the rescue racer, is a transmission failure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will try to uh, declare my end step and deal 10 to you. All right, with that trigger on the stack, uh, I will pass priority. Okay, GG. I am dead. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to gain a life and then I was going to fool you with this Kazoo oh, theory. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I yep, had no chance there. Oh, That's, man. No, I was so close. I was so close. I just needed that Cyclonus to stay on the board, but z had the removal. Unfortunately, my deck was just a little bit slower than everybody else's. It requires a lot of things. You got to have big evasive tokens and then you've got to get spells into your opponent's graveyard. It's just a lot to ask. I'm so excited that my teammate Melissa won. I feel the victory in my heart, even though my life is at zero. I really enjoyed playing this deck. The theme was really cool. Um, you don't often see this theme all the time with the combination of the plus one plus one counters and the artifacts. And I'm sharing my victory today with Zvex. Thank you guys so much for watching. As a special treat, we have a giveaway for you, an Ultimate Guard care package. But before we tell you how to enter, we'd like to take a minute to tell you about the sponsors. Cool Stuff Inc. is the best place to pick up anything from sealed product to singles. And make sure to use our code TOPDECK at checkout for 5% off your order. 
And if you need a little deck building inspiration, head over to edhrec.com where they've got all the synergies to match your budget and style. Ultimate Guard is the industry leader in Magic the Gathering accessories. Since starting our partnership with them, we've been using their stuff exclusively, and honestly, we love it. And so will you. Make sure to use the link below to pick up any sleeves, deck boxes, and playmats that you're going to need and help us celebrate our new partnership. And if you would like to support us more directly, you can head on over to our Patreon, where you can unlock cool perks like signed cards from the cast and crew, as well as get in some spell table games with us and submit deck lists for us to play here on the show. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you really liked it. But now the moment you've all been waiting for, the Care Package Giveaway. If you would like to win some Ultimate Guard product, all you need to do is help us pick commanders for the show. So leave us a comment down below with a commander you would like to see featured, as well as a social media handle so we can reach out. That's it for this time, but we'll see you next time on Decked Decked Out. Out.